I'm Dr. Michael Haley, and today I have an email question for you, which says, I have a question on consuming the aloe juice. I do smoothies quite often. Because of my schedule, I defrost a small bottle of aloe from the freezer overnight in the refrigerator. The next morning, I use part of the juice, which is more of a slush, in the smoothie. Am I receiving the benefits of the aloe juice? And that comes to us from Maxine. Well, Maxine, the first thing I want to talk about is just a terminology, a little difference. I'm going to refer to it as aloe vera gel. And the difference being, usually when we say juice, we're referring to something that's more processed, something that is thinner, and usually the whole leaf. So when you take the whole leaf and, you, um, and it comes processed, you buy it in one of those bottles at the health food store, it's been filtered, pasteurized, and preserved, containing the whole leaf, and it doesn't have that thickness that you get from the inner leaf gel. If you were to hand fillet your own leaf, or if you're buying whole leaf aloe vera gel from us, you'll notice that when you shake it, it kind of sounds goopy sounding, or if you pour it in uh, into a glass or into your blender, it's kind of thick. And if you are to blend that, it'll kind of foam up, you know, significantly actually. So gel is different than juice. And for that reason, with our aloe vera gel, I'm going to recommend that you make your juice smoothie first. And then if you want to add aloe vera in at the end, turn the blender off, pour some in however much you want, and just kind of flash blend it in or pulse it in or put the blender on a real low speed and run it just long enough to mix it in there sufficiently. For me, myself, today I had aloe vera in my juice, which, you know, I made it with a juicer, not with a blender, but, you know, collard greens and parsley and um, they had some kale in there and some wheat grass and some uh, apple juice, some apples I put in the juicer. And at the end, I just poured in aloe from one of our bottles at, at Haley Nutrition, right into the drink. I didn't even bother stirring it or shaking. I just drank it, and I happened to get the aloe first that was on top with some of the green flavor. Um, but that works for me. I don't want to blend it. When you're adding air to it with a blender, if you're doing it on a high speed and it's foaming up, you're adding air or oxygen. You're oxidizing the nutrients, and that might indeed change them. You're also kind of, you know, you, you're kind of mixing the enzymes in there that naturally occur in aloe vera gel, which help break down some of the nutrients. And I kind of like the, you know, normal speed of that happening, the time release, um, you know, speed of, of enzymes going to work as they naturally occur in the plants. So for me, I'm not going to really super blend anything. I hope that better answers your questions so you know um, how to better prepare your aloe in the morning. Don't be afraid to mix it in your juicer or even blend it in, but nothing crazy there. Also, if you have a vacuum blender, of course, you'll get much better results. I like that idea, you know, when you get your aloe vera, you melt it completely, and I would leave the bottle in my sink overnight if I was going to portion it off and melt the whole bottle, and then the next morning, because it takes about eight or nine hours to fully melt at room temperature, I wouldn't try to melt it in the refrigerator, it would take days, but uh, then I'd portion it into the smaller containers, put them in the refreezer, in the freezer to refreeze them to take out as necessary. Um, I don't want it in my refrigerator for more than about 7 to 10 days because eventually this lo logarithmic thing with bacteria happens where all of a sudden they kind of take it over and they multiply really fast and the, uh, the juice, the gel, the drink, whatever it is that's in your refrigerator too long ferments very quickly at some point in time. So I want to consume it before it gets to that uh, stage. So um, I like what you're doing putting it in the smaller containers. And Maxine, thank you for your question.